The third interesting thing has been really about mobile and what you can do with mobile. And the interesting thing with mobile is that it's more gifted than a desktop. It's got camera, it's got locational awareness, and with that you can do many, many interesting things. So we bring to you a brand new mobility toolkit with CRM Next 2016. And what this tool does, it really covers the entire spectrum. It uses the best of native and HTML5 properties. So because we are native, we can really rethink our experience in terms of how we design appointments, contacts, very fundamental basic things that you want to do. Of course, that's far more simpler to do now. But what's really interesting is we make you realize that mobile is a two-way street. While the customer can reach you, you can reach the customer back. So with mobile, we bring you the first real-time messaging infrastructure with CRM Next 2016. And just to kind of give you a sense, we also bring you a variety of other innovations, innovations that will help you, before picking the call, find out what your customer wants. Innovations that will help you really bring Uber-like qualities to your business. They just spend a few minutes on the Uber-like qualities of your business. So imagine today, if you're on the field, and you really get this hot customer wants you digitally, comes to you, flows, and you're obviously heading for this meeting, and you want to find out who in your team is available, one click you find out. You can quickly open, you can quickly open the entire diary. Let me go back to that. Find out if that guy's available. Bingo, it goes on. You're ready to take on. Same things. You can look at, in real time, customers in front of you. You can look at, in real time, across your organization, people and find them and really start to work with them. So really, you don't need to be any longer marrying pin codes and people and availability. And we can really move to this kind of platforms now. And anybody can work with you. But what's really interesting is that we have kept it simple for you to change. Often platforms like this get done, and then it's really hard to change them. So we've kind of kept the same drag and drop ability to change using HTML5 for you. We've also created a complete new system of how can you record your customer commitments, and how can you work on that? We call it Cogent Meeting, and we bring to that the same to you on the mobile. Thank you. And of course, because we now have a real-time infrastructure, we bring you real-time alerts. So think of it. Alert comes in. Ah, somebody sent a million dollars to somebody's account. And of course, the first guy screaming is your AML guy, right? So the first alert is somebody's received a thing. Can you go check it out? And of course, you're the RM. You call this guy, find out it's really what he won for. And in case you forgot to sell, the second alert is from the marketing guy reminding you that he just made a lot of money. Maybe you want to sell something. Now, remember how this works today. This works in a way that it is loaded to your system. You get to it when you get to it in between your work. But now you can really, really do it real time if you really want to do it real time. So again, loads of stuff that you can do but what I'm really, really excited is about ideas that are helping you build collaborative workforce. Now, one of the heart of your workforce has always been the physical meeting. And even though we're in the digital age, we spend a lot of time meeting our customers. And one of the first things you want to know is, how do I record that commitment and take it forward? So we completely created a new system of how to record your meetings with simple, elegant, quick to use formats, very Facebook-like. And when you save this meeting, it automatically creates your minutes of meeting. It automatically sends it to your customer. It tracks your MOM. Next time when you open the meeting, it tells you what's been the progress. Saves you lots of work, but more importantly, ensures that you never miss the promise that you gave to your customers. 
The other example is we've taken pulse and kind of put them on steroids. Okay, so we kind of made it really fast. Now you can really collaborate. You can use a lot of survey, both for customers as well as internally. You can participate as people are creating opportunity cases, you can see. So think of it as a Facebook type situation where you're really getting a feed of what your customer is doing with you across your channels. So instead of you going and seeing what he did, Pulse will tell you that he logged a case, he called up somebody, somebody met it, and you just need to keep reading in your portfolio what all is happening. So again, that's what's really exciting about collaboration, but that's not all. Now, many of us don't realize what real-time notification can do. Here is an example. There is an event of interest that is happening from anywhere in your ecosystem. And what we do is you get a quick notification. Whether you're in the app, not in the app, you get that single click, approve, move on. So really, we're giving you tools to really reimagine some of your process and really start to move selectively into a more real-time environment. Now for the geeks in the crowd, this is one of the first instances where we bring to you something that we call as polygot persistence. Now many CIOs have really sweated at RDBMS and we kind of try to make RDBMS databases do everything. And you have amazing databases today that are really purpose-built for things like this. So in this collaboration, we bring to you first time MongoDB. So polygot persistence is when you start to use different databases in the back end to really make your point. And why we use MongoDB is because you can scale this infrastructure on internet scale to all the way connecting to your customers. So not only notification inside, but really this platform can be extended to your customer. Again, so very, very interesting collaboration field. We also spend a lot of time looking at the new trends in technology. And unlike the old days, many of the technology leaders today, we believe in sharing. We do awesome work, and then we pick it up for public use. And one of these amazing theories has been really Google at the heart of it, and has done things like WebRTCC. I don't know how many of you know that, but it's a messaging system now that is now available to you without installation on your browser. So if you use Chrome, chances are you have it. And what can you do with it? We can now reimagine your entire story of call centers. Imagine being in the same interface, never leaving your digital interface, and still being able to connect with your peers and your customers alike. But what's really more interesting is we also bring to you the capability to do live video chats. And now imagine if you're in front of a customer, you want some more information on the product you're selling, one click, you get a product expert. And the best part, a lot of this infrastructure comes to you as an open source platform. So really, it's not that costly to start to use some of these innovations. And you can now imagine the kind of empowerment you can do, the single click buttons you can do for your customer. The help buttons can go digital. Your workforce help can go digital. Awesome. And of course, you've done amazing things with social. I'll let you discover that at our booth. So the fourth aspect that we were working on was really collaboration. 